Hello again everyone. Can you tell me what is the correct answer to this calculus problem? Integral of sine x times cosine x dx. This is one of the perplexing calculus problems. And there are more than one ways to solve this problem. So let's do the first method right now. So we're going to be using the u substitution method. So I'm going to say let this sine of x equal to u. So let's go ahead and put down let u equal to sine of x. Then du is going to be what? The derivative of sine of x is simply cosine of x dx. So that would give us how much dx is going to be du over cosine x. Let's go ahead and plug this one back over here. So this thing is pretty much is going to become sine of x we already replaced as u. So I'm going to put down u times our just leave cosine of x as it is cosine of x and we know dx is simply du over cosine of x. Now you can see that this cosine x and cosine x they cancel out so what we ended up with u times du so that's gonna be equal to u square over 2 plus c where c is an arbitrary constant and finally we're going to go ahead and plug it in u back so u was how much sine of x so this is going to become sine of x square over 2 plus c and that is our answer. In the second method, we will be using the u substitution method as well. So in this case, I will be calling this cosine of x as u. So let's go ahead and put down let u equals to cosine of x. That means du, the derivative, is going to be simply negative sine of x times dx. That means dx is going to be simply equal to du over negative sine of x. Let's go ahead and plug it back in our original problem over here. So what we're going to see right now is I want you to just put down sine of x. Just leave it like this thing. We substitute a co cosine of x as u times dx is simply du over negative sine of x. As you can see right now that this sine of x and sine of x they cross out they are gone so we pretty much we got what negative sine outside we put down u times du and now once again negative sign is outside this is going to be simply u square over 2 whatever this thing is and then plus c where c is an arbitrary constant and finally what we got is u at the very first place was cosine of x so simply that's going to become negative cosine square of x over 2 plus c and that is our answer and finally in this method we will be using a double angle formula to solve this problem so this is our double angle formula sine of 2x equal to 2 sine of x cosine of x what if we divide both side by 2 then what happens so i'm going to divide this side by 2 and this side by 2 we get sine of x times cosine of x turns out to be sine of 2x divided by 2 so now we can replace this whole thing 
by simply by this thing because they are equivalent so I can write as sine of 2x divided by 2 times d of x now I can put 1 over 2 outside and I can put down sine of 2x times dx and then finally the next step is 1 over 2 we know the integral of sine is simply negative cosine of 2x and the the derivative of 2x is 2 you're going to divide it by 2 plus c so your complete answer turns out to be simply negative 1 over 4 cosine of 2x plus c and that is our answer and finally all of these three answers that we came up are perfectly valid thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more videos